Welcome to Lazy Owl Booktube channel where I discuss all things books and comic books. Today I'm going to be doing a review for you of a book that I read for my book club, my book club that meets um, in real life and the book is Emma in the Night by Wendy Walker. As always if you enjoy this video please remember to like and subscribe and if you would like to know when I post videos please click the bell icon. So this is a psychological thriller and it features two teenage girls who go missing. One girl goes missing on a beach or we can assume she goes missing on a beach. Her car is found, her shoes are found in the sand and the so she's the older daughter and then the younger daughter also goes missing and there is no sign of her whatsoever except for a hair found in the back of the car so these girls have been missing for three years and then one of them turns up and on her mother's doorstep so she appears um, three years later so this is how that book starts out and the book is told from the perspective of the girl who returns so her name is Cassandra and Emma is the other uh, daughter and she is still not returned so Cassandra is uh, returned and she comes back and she's quite anxious about um, everyone needing to find Emma to rescue Emma. The other part of the book is told from the perspective of a psychologist and she is working with an investigator to find out what's happened to these girls and hopefully find Emma and get her back to safety. I found this story really interesting um, mostly because it those chapters where it was from the perspective of the psychologist so you find out very early on that the mother in this story has narcissistic personality traits and I found that quite interesting delving into how these people with narcissistic personalities develop and how um, the types of things, the types of behaviours that they have when they have this narcissistic personality. So I found that quite interesting uh, in this particular book and I found it interesting from Cassandra's point of view as the daughter of a narcissist and what she dealt with and how she managed to survive in this household with this mother um, who's this narcissist and how she survived and and really protected herself um, growing up in this household. I found that there wasn't really any major twists or turns, there wasn't any cliffhangers in this book but I found that I still really enjoyed it, I still wanted to keep on reading, I wanted to find out how the story progressed even right at the end I felt like there were no major surprises but just because of the point of view in this story is why I really enjoyed it. So this particular book I gave four stars I think um, on Goodreads and um, I would recommend it. Hopefully we haven't had our book club yet so hopefully we get some really good discussion out of this one. If you have read this book um, please comment below if you've got any suggestions for just book discussion questions I'd love to hear them and as always if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and click the bell icon and that's all for now. Thank you for watching.